Hey guys, Greg McCoy here at Hidden Gym. Um, today we're going to have a little coaching video about the training year. So this is how um, our coaching staff breaks down the training year, specifically for athletes competing in physique sports. So the best way we've been able to depict kind of our programming philosophy is with a, uh, with a pyramid. So um, in the, the base of the pyramid, um, this is your off season. This is gonna be, over the course of the year, this is gonna be the longest phase that you're in. Um, this is gonna be anywhere from three months to even 12 months. You can even spend productively an entire year in, uh, in this phase. Um, here is what we call pre and post prep. So this is the transitional time when you're going from an off season into a prep or you're transitioning out of a prep. This will actually be the shortest window, um, probably four weeks, maximum eight weeks, um, probably more like eight weeks when you're coming out of that contest prep phase. And we're gonna break down today each of these uh, segments of the pyramid. And then the top is your in season, your in season training or um, in our sport, pre-contest. Um, so over the course of the year, you're gonna move up and down this pyramid. And this is how we make programming decisions based on what phase you're in. And by programming, just to, so you guys know what I'm talking about, programming isn't just your workouts, that's um, what we're doing with your nutrition, what we're doing with your supplementation, cardio, what kinds of cardio are we doing hit? are we doing steady state, what kind of conditioning work are we doing? Are we in a recovery phase or are we trying to get progressive overload? There's all these decisions that, that take part over the course of one year um, and this is the, the basic structure to how we lay that out. Um, and then you guys have probably noticed by now, and we're gonna standardize this even more, but um, we deliver your programs in 12 week blocks. So there might be um, you know, four blocks here in the off season, four 12 week periods that you go through. And each block consists of three four week phases. So you guys notice that your workouts change every four weeks. So we'll get more into the details of that in another video, but just to say that, you know, this could be one to four blocks of training. This one's likely just gonna be one block of training, and this one's gonna be one to two, depending on the length of your prep. So that's how we're selecting um, programs for you guys. And just to give you some back end so you understand um, why we're doing what we're doing. But let's talk about, we've kind of divided up um, three goals in each of these parts of your training year. So in the off season, this is generally like one of the main goals of your off season is gonna be long-term improvement or bringing up weak body parts. It takes time and um, usually a, a caloric surplus to grow new tissue. So if we're trying to bring up a body part, um, you usually, unless you're a beginner, you can't do that in a pre-contest phase most of the time. Um, this is likely the, uh, the major improvements are going to happen in this off-season phase. Up next is um, the goal of an off-season is to have a sustainable or lifestyle type of programming. You, don't, you can't live in this mode year-round. It's not good for you. It'll be a diminished return after a while. You can't ultra-focus all the time. So this is a more sustainable period where you know, it becomes more of a lifestyle for you and you're able to incorporate other parts of your life uh, while still achieving your goals. And then lastly, a very important part of this is improved metabolism. So, you know, we're, we're this whole base here, you know, you're wanting to have a healthy metabolism to maintain healthy body fat levels um, and be able to, to eat a healthy, diverse diet so that when it comes time to really buckle down, you've done your homework in the off season. Okay. Uh, pre and po post prep. So you uh, you don't want to just on the go from pre contest straight to an off season. That's when rebound issues happen really really bad. Um, you've all probably heard horror stories um, from that. Luckily, all of our clients have been able to avoid that. And those that are really diligent with this phase do better year after year. Um, so one of the goals here is you know is properly transitioning from in season to off season, and and vice versa. You know, if you're uh, if you're maybe off-seasoning a little too, like too many dirty cheat meals or um, too little training, 
you know, you really need some consistency for your to be in place before prep really takes hold, or else the first four weeks of your prep is just going to be like kind of just basic, uh, basic consistencies getting in place. Then there's also a mental shift that needs to happen, you know, from a pretty balanced life to um, you need to shift to a very focused mode here, and also shifting kind of out of focus into something that's more balanced. So there's a mental shift that happens during this phase. And then focusing on recovery. So you either need to, um, after a prep, there's a, a recovery period that needs to happen. You don't want to go from um, prep straight into trying to do like heavy progressive overload, you, your body is stressed. It's been stressed for three to five months and you need to transition your way into an off-season program. Um, or you need to uh, make sure that, like if I'm really gonna create my best physique um, to date, that I'm not banged up. You know, if, you, if you've created some injuries, um, training heavy in the off-season, trying to improve your physique, um, you wanna make sure that you're in peak condition. You might even take a bit of a break as we head into the end season. So that's coaching decisions that will help you make. And lastly, in season. So to achieve your physique's optimal potential, whatever, wherever your best potential is in that year, this is the phase where we bring it out. Um, it's going to differ year to year. Your body changes, but whatever your full potential is for that year, this is the phase where we want to bring that out. Um, this is where you prioritize program adherence and execution. What do I mean by that? There's probably times here where you, uh, you have a cheat meal with the family because that's a better decision for you. This is the phase when that's not the case. Um, you, you, if you really want to accomplish goals and the loftier goals, the more this matters. Um, you need to prioritize the task at hand. Um, so really balance goes out the window here. Not to say you shouldn't, you know, be respectful of, of balance, but um, th it needs to take a higher seat in your priority chart if you really want to be successful. And you don't want to jeopardize long-term results here. So uh, we really want to uh, do your in-season programming in a way that, you know, you're able to transition out of it. You can do a lot of damage to your metabolism and to your body um, if you don't prep in the right way that's, you know, year after year going to start to show up. So. You want to respect the training year when it comes here and all of these work together you know to, to be achieving these goals in all three is really going to set you up you know for long-term success year after year so um, hope you guys enjoyed that i think we're going to send out a questionnaire for you guys to see um, where you fall in this and, and kind of if you agree with these goals but let us know how you like it and uh, we'll talk to you soon